Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to interface an I2C LCD with the Raspberry Pi board. So, before we head into the tutorial, let us assume that you are working on a complex project where you have a lot of modules to interface and you have lower number of GPIOs to cater for the LCD. Whereas a normal LCD would take at least 6 pins and plus the ground and the VCC pins separately. So this is where an I2C LCD comes in handy. In the circuit diagram you can see here, it is basically a two wire interface. That is the SDA and the SCL lines which are responsible for the data communication. Here the black wire forms the ground and the red wire is the VCC. So this uses an I2C module. So I'll show you the I2C module here. So this is how the I2C module looks like. So this I2C module has an I2C chip on it which converts the I2C serial data to parallel parallel data. So these modules are currently supplied with the default I2C address as 0x27 that is uh, hexadecimal address so 0x27 or 0x3f so this module has got a potentiometer box which is used for toggling the contrast of the text and the jumper wire as well here so this controls the backlight so when you try to connect your LCD and you want to check if the LCD is properly connected or not so you can run this command here i2c detect hyphen y1 which shows the i2c device is connected to the raspberry pi port so you see here this is my address here that means 0x27 this is the one which I have with me so this means that the I2C device is connected and ready for the data communication. So this I2C LCD backpack can be used with LCD modules that have a HD44780 compatible interface with varied screen sizes. So this was the explanation about the circuit diagram. So let's move on to the hardware implementation now. So I've got my hardware circuit ready here. So before we move on to the working, let's see the pin connections a little closely now. So this I2C LCD has got connected with four wires here. So the four wires are namely ground, VCC, SD and SCL pins. So the VCC here would be the 5 volts. SD and SCL pins would go and connect on the corresponding pins of the SD and SCL pins of the Raspberry Pi. So you can see a potentiometer box there. So this is used for adjustment of the clarity of the text. So by rotating it, you can see the text fading out a bit or getting darkened. You see here. There's a small hook like structure, a jumper wire like structure. So, this is for the backlight. So, whenever you remove the jumper, you'll see there will be no backlight. So, I've got this connected right now. That means the LED will be giving me a backlight. It'll be bright enough. So let's get started with the working. Out of my Raspberry Pi now. So once it boots up, we'll be able to run the program. My Raspberry Pi board is ready. So let's run the program now. So you can see the text flashing on the screen. So 
uh, this keeps looping around so put a loop condition in the code so that it keeps looping around so you can print anything and everything you want on the screen so let's try to stop the program now there we go this makes up the implementation part let's see what the code has got for us so here we see the main program now we start initializing with the import command the import time module and the import i2c lcd driver the next step we have a reference variable being assigned with the to see lcd driver functions so whatever functions are associated with working with the lcd so all these are referenced to this my lcd variable so from now on we'll be using my lcd dot whichever function we have in the lcd driver so we'll be using it in our program so we start the while loop so we try to put some text on it first so my lcd dot this is a function here lcd underscore display underscore string so with the help of this function we put the string onto the lcd and we have specific arguments to be noted here so the first argument is the string as usual so the next argument followed up here is the line number can be said as a line number or you can take it as a row number as well so we print this specific text on the specific row number and the text starts printing from this specific point of the cursor like from the specific part that is we have 16 columns say or 16 characters can be entered in a line so here we mentioned three so the text will be printed after three characters or three lines say <coughs> so the same way we follow learn electronics that will be a 16 character string here so it covers up the whole line so if you can't put the column column argument here because the learn electronics text itself is having 16 characters in it so followed by a time dot sleep command and then we clear the lcd and then put another text here how are you doing so this has got around completely 11 characters counting including the spaces as well so the string length would be 11 so correspondingly you can give your row number and the column number from where you want to start so this way we've written the complete code in this try loop so when you give a keyboard interrupt here so it is control c so i put a small block of code here it says clear the lcd and then put these two lines we'll see you on the next time so the same way as we did in the try loop then we break from the while loop here so this was the explanation of the main code file thank you